Hi, and welcome to this presentation of MRP Material Requirements Planning in SAP Business One. This is one of a series of presentations of different functional areas within SAP Business One. And in the next 10 or so minutes, we're going to focus quite specifically on material requirements planning and using material requirements planning to do our purchase planning and our production planning. So typically MRP is used to balance supply and demand and help us make informed decisions about inventory purchasing. So if I was the purchasing manager, MRP is going to help me decide what to buy and when to buy. For those of us that are familiar with the typical SAP Business One interface, what I have in front of me here is a typical KPI dashboard. I open documents, so from here I can go directly to my open production orders, for example. And I can go down here to my common features and functions, where I can go to my bill of materials, my production receipts, my issues to production, typical production-related information. But let's leave that as it is for now. Let's go into MRP, which is the focus of this presentation. First of all, when I'm looking to balance my supply and demand and make decisions about purchasing, as the purchasing manager, my demand may come from multiple aspects, including a forecast. So I might have sales orders in the system creating demand, but I might also want a forecast. So one of the things I can do in SAP Business One is I can go in, let's add in a forecast. So what we'll call this one is test, and we'll give it a name. Now what we'll do, we'll look at a forecast horizon. So let's look from today, or from January through to December, and we'll do a monthly forecast. We'll do it for demonstration purposes just for one item, for the office print. So let's go in now and put our forecast in by month. So typically, this forecast, as I enter it into the system now, I'm entering it manually, but of course there are other mechanisms to put this forecast into SAP Business One. So let's just add that one in. Of course, what we could have done is we could have said generate forecast, and we could have generated the forecast based on uh, historical sales or sales history, for example. So again, in SAP Business One, as we often see uh, as the user, I've got choice. I've got choice between setting up or importing the forecast, doing it manually, or I could generate the forecast based on historical sales, as we can see here. So we now have our forecast in the system. Let's open up the MRP wizard. What we're going to do is we'll create a new scenario. And as you'll see, these scenarios are quick and easy to create. So it means that you can do them in a few minutes uh, if you want to create multiple scenarios, for example. So let's have a look now. Let's give this one a scenario name, description. OK. And we'll click next. Now, the start date we want to make D for today's date. And let's finish it up. Um, let's go to the end of March, shall we? Do we want to plan in days, weeks, or months? In terms of this planning as the purchasing manager, I do my planning monthly. So I'm going to go for three months in periods of months. Do I want to consider holidays for production items I'm producing and purchasing? Yes, I do, because our production and purchasing department doesn't work on holidays. I have some other questions like ignore cumulative lead time, display items with no requirements, display selected items only, simulation, etc. sort by assembly sequence item number. So different requirements in terms of how I'm going to see the report and the actions from that report. As I click on next, now in a typical scenario as the purchasing manager, I might include multiple items. But for the purposes of today, I'm just going to take that one item for this demonstration. Once again, the arrows in SAP represent a drill down, so I've drilled down to the actual item in question here. I can go to the inventory tab and see how many I currently have in inventory. I've got 1,077 in stock. So quick, easy drill down, get around the SAP Business One system to get information that I want. Now what we're going to do, click on the next button. Which warehouses do we want to take into account? So we may look at our, for example, planning just for one warehouse, just for Sydney, Brisbane, or Melbourne. 
But again, we can include demand and existing inventory in one and all warehouses. So multiple questions to help us narrow down the choices we need to make in terms of our inventory purchase. Again, because this is purely a demonstration, I'm going to go with all warehouses. But if I was the purchasing manager in Sydney, I may just include Sydney, for example, or Perth, etc. Now the system is going to ask me a number of questions. Time range within planning, planning horizon. Do I want to exclude or restrict certain sales orders? So if I've got one very substantial sales order, maybe I want to exclude that sales order from the mathematical equation that's going to happen to make those recommendations. Because let's not forget, at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want to balance supply and demand. So demand is coming from sales orders and forecast demand potentially. Supply will be coming from existing inventory um, and purchase orders, which are outstanding inventory that's on its way into the warehouse. And through a combination of SAP looking at lead times and other aspects um, associated with the purchasing, for example, my minimum order quantities, um, how often I order, etc., the system's going to make a recommendation. So on this page, the MRP and SAP Business One is asking me, do I want to make certain restrictions, exclusions, etc. It also says, do I want to look at required or minimal max inventory levels? I'm going to look at minimum inventory levels, and I'm going to include uh, potentially a forecast as well. So which forecast do I want to include? I want to include um, a particular test forecast. So let's put that in there as well. Now let's run the MRP, very quick result. Here we can see that particular item for my date range from the 1st of January to the 31st of March. And I can see in the system here, January, February, and March, initial inventory. So let's look at January, initial inventory of 1,095, supply of 21, demand of 1,040, final inventory 76. I go over to February, starting inventory 76, taken from January. Eight coming in in supply, minus 1,230 in demand, there's a problem. Minus 1,146 will be in inventory in the end of Feb unless I do something. Now, again, great drill downs in SAP Business One. Where does the supply come from in January? There it is, two purchase orders. Drill down to the purchase order in question, I can see it. Where does the supply come from in February? Drill down, there's the purchase order. So one option here, because I'm struggling for inventory in Feb, might be to increase the size of this particular purchase order, for example. I won't do that just yet. Let's leave it as it is. Where's the demand coming from? The demand's coming from these two sales orders in January. And in February, it's coming from forecast demand and a sales order. So I've got massive forecast demand in February of 1,200 here and only one small sales order. Again, I may then want to talk to the sales team and say, are you sure that that forecast demand is correct for uh, February? So I drill down, I get the information I want. Of course, if I click on recommendations, I can see the purchase requests or purchase order recommendations the system's making. I can see this particular one here in red as well to indicate that there may be an issue because that purchase order will only arrive after the due date that I needed by. So it's highlighting that in red. Now, if I was manufacturing items, the system would also recommend over and above purchase orders or purchase requisitions. It will also recommend that... Uh, from a point of view of the MRP, we make recommendations for works orders and production orders. Now I can obviously save that recommendation, go back, change it, do another recommendation. I could go back and drill down, of course, and change particular purchase orders to expedite them and, and things like that to make sure I get the stock on time. One other element I wanted to show in terms of uh, the MRP, just very briefly, if I go into an inventory item, let's call on that same item that we looked at. I just wanted to go to planning data and show you where the MRP gets some of this data from. So in this instance, the planning method on this item is MRP. I buy the item, I don't make it. My order intervals are monthly, but they could be weekly or other criteria, uh, every three days, etc. My order multiples are 120, minimum order quantity 1,000, lead times 40 days. So that sort of information there is being used to drive various decisions that are made in that MRP planning process so that what I get at the end of the day is information associated with balancing my supply and demand um, to then make the recommended purchase orders inside the, uh, the system. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of SAP Business One Material Requirements Planning. 
Uh, please don't forget that there are many additional presentations available on our website at leveragetech.com.au or on the Leverage Tech Technologies YouTube site. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.